Well, I'm definitely I'm not very happy with the the next half of the season or the last half of the season. Uh, I think we've been playing for, or we, we merged in two seasons in uh, in two years. So uh, yeah, like first season after the COVID, I think I, it was better for me. Like uh, I won almost all of the platinum events, and uh, yeah, starting from end of August or after the British Open. Uh, I think uh, things got uh, not very good for me and uh, yeah, I uh, wasn't very happy with the with the way I'm playing, with my performance, with uh, my results, so uh, yeah, but still, uh, still grateful that I uh, end the season winning the World Championship, which is the most important event for me and uh, I wait for it every season, so uh, yeah, and this is the main goal for me starting a new season just to stay the, on the number one spot and win the world championship so uh, did half of the job and uh, and yeah try to learn and uh, reset and uh, for the next season what I look at is the results so I've, I think I like from August I didn't win like an, any platinum event so this says it's old so yeah I'm, I'm not happy maybe had some injuries but uh, I try to uh, to cope with it and try to be ready and play. I played all the events. I didn't skip only the British Open. I skipped this uh, this event. Uh, but uh, yeah, not winning a platinum event for six months it's 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 something I have to uh, put it in consideration and see what's wrong and what's uh, what was happening. And uh, so that's why I'm saying that I wasn't happy with the with this ending season like this. I think like playing for a long, long time. Uh, yeah, it's usually it happens. It's uh, you always have your ups and downs, and uh, you know, I think this phase what makes you learn and uh, and try to improve and try to see what's wrong and uh, to be motivated again to uh, to see or to solve the problem what what was happening. So yeah, I think maybe because we've been playing for too long now, uh, almost two seasons, uh, maybe. Yeah, that was one of the reasons that uh, at the end I wasn't performing the way I, I want to perform. Having uh, a break or having this summer break, uh, getting back to, to normality and to like get back to the, the routine you used to uh, have and to uh, sometimes it's good to have a stop and uh, see just to look back to what, what was happening and to try to train, to have time to train and uh, change some things. Uh, so, yeah, I think I need this break, I need this stop and uh, and just to finish and uh, put, uh, like, draw a line and uh, get over uh, the last season and uh, try to uh, think and work for the next season. If if I still feel I want to play and I'm I'm hungry, I want I want to be motivated or more motivated. I want to win. I don't want to lose any tournament. That's why I am playing. So if one day I don't have this feeling, I think I'm I'm not gonna be playing squash anymore. So no, I still want to play. I still want to uh, achieve more. I want to win more tournaments. I want to uh, see what's going to happen in the next few years but uh, yeah still still want to keep going I definitely have targets but like now everyone who sees me like talks about Nicole's David record and I'm already six world championships and there are only there are only two left but it's never that easy and I'm never gonna look at it like this and uh, and definitely I, I wish I could do this and I wish I could keep playing to do to win more two world championship or even more if I can but I want like everyone's talking to me about Okay, they only have two left, but it's no, it's not like this, and it's not easy. And every every year and every tournament is different than the one before. And uh, like, I don't know next year what's going to happen. I don't know at this time of the season how I'm gonna be, how I'm playing. I'm, I don't know. So uh, as I always say, that I take it step by step, and I I just wait for the tournament and see what's going to happen. I don't want to put. A lot of things on my mind. I just want to play squash and just to enjoy it and just to be relaxed and uh, try to. Uh, I definitely want to do this and try to put in mind that I want to win the tournament, not to 
reach the seventh or the eighth world championship. I just want to win this tournament. So definitely before any season, I try to set my goals and uh, see what I want to do. And still, I didn't want any uh, the US Open until now. This is the only platinum event. So this is one of the goals I, I always set every year. So hopefully this season it's going to it's gonna happen. So, so yeah, I have, yeah, you have more targets than the World Championship. Just now, I have want to get back to the World Number One. Um, try to win, like get back the World, the Platinum events I lost. So, so there's a lot more targets I want to reach more than the World Championship. Definitely, it's the most important. But, uh, but I have some or more goals besides the World Championship. So it's good that. The challenge is it's more harder now, and you see, like, I feel that throughout the season, all the top ten has changed their game. They they improved a lot. They worked a lot, and you can see the improvement in their games. Uh, like uh, as you said, Joel, Amanda, like they weren't like the same like two years ago or the year you know, starting the new season. I, also, Noron, Hanya, like if you watch the matches back, like I think all of us changed a lot and. Uh, I think we've been working more on like watching the game and trying to change things and uh, and yeah it's it's really challenging and it's it's hard to see them the the match is getting harder it's uh, it's not easy and you never have an easy first rounds now so uh, yeah I think especially the top five they change a lot and uh, and. It's it's good for the game anyway. It's good to see different uh, players, different uh, style, different changing in plans, and uh, I try to do the same as well. So yeah, the game's hard anyway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's it's really exciting. It's it it uh, for me it it gives me motivation to keep want to improve or with want to change. I'm I'm not a I'm not a person that like a lot of changes or I, I love to stick to the routine to, to be very systematic so so yeah that gave me motivation to want to see what's what I want to change what was wrong what uh, I can improve what um, I want to learn from this tournament this match so yeah it, it motivates me actually so it's a it's a nice challenge it's not a challenge that I'm scared of or something no I like this challenge and uh, yeah the Trying to change yourself, it's something good.